Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm Dawson with Sleep Talking and welcome back to another episode. Today's episode is an epic video that you are not going to want to miss. This is something that I have had in the works for around three months now and the day has finally come for us to unbox and look at two very special, special custom items that were made for me and I can't wait to show them to you. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Yo, once again, if you're new here, my name is Dawson Redden, and on this channel, we talk all things Sleep Token. That is music reviews, news, podcast, unboxings, the whole shabam. If you're into Sleep Token, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you're notified of any future videos that we post here on the channel. We have been a little absent for a little bit. Life has been crazy, but we are back. I am in my Harry Potter studio because if you don't know, I run a Harry Potter channel called The Fantastic Reddens and where to find them. If you're into Harry Potter and you want to go subscribe to that channel, please do so. We just hit over a thousand subs over there. So I appreciate all the support on that channel. And so if you want to go uh, drop a sub over there as well, that would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so what is today's video about? Well, a bit of a backstory. Three months ago, probably, um, I was very interested, very, very interested in getting a vessel mask produced. A vessel mask made for me, for the channel. This is honestly something that I've wanted for many years now, but I've never known who to reach out to, who to talk to. And so, finally, after doing tons of research, after reaching out to AJ Good at the House of Mask, he kind of pointed me in a couple different directions. I found someone that was willing to set and sculpt and make a authentic vessel mask. Now, there is a surprise to this video, but today that mask has arrived and I have seen pictures of this. I have not seen this in person, of course. I have not seen videos of it. But I have seen pictures, I've watched the development of this from it being sculpted, to molded, to painted, to the final touches being put on. I've seen all of it and I cannot wait to open this up. Like I said, there is a surprise to this video so stick around. Let's go ahead, let's unbox this thing. This is going to be the most iconic thing you probably have ever seen. I'm not just saying that. You cannot get Vessel Mask. You just can't. There are people out there that try to 3D print, but I'm telling you right now, nothing is gonna to compare to what you are about to see. What you're about to see is the closest you can get to owning Vessel's actual mask. This thing is sick. Now this came all the way from Italy, which is super awesome. Uh, the gentleman who made this has been an absolute freaking just awesome person through the entire time communicating with me every step of the way working really hard um, we dug through video after video we dug through pictures we dug through everything basically we could find to make sure that this was the absolute most authentic mask that you could get and I cannot wait to finally see this I am beyond excited. Holy cow. Here it is. OMG. Okay, I thought this was going to be like wrapped in something, but it's not. It's just like right here, dude. Okay, here we go. This is the... Oh, this is like the holy grail. Okay, everybody. Here it is. Let me take this out of here. We have... Vessels mask. Let me set this to the side. Holy crap. This is insane. This is so iconic. I didn't expect it to be so wide down here, but if you look at Vessels photos, I mean, it, it's pretty spot freaking on, dude. Would you look at that? The actual detail in this is insane. It's made to look like leather, right? But it's actually made out of um, 
a hard, hard resin. Um, it does have some weight to it. It is not super duper uh, thin. I asked him to make it relatively thick if possible, just so that um, it would hold up over time. And Vessel's mask is honestly pretty thick. We even have the mesh in the eyes. Would you just look at that? That is freaking insane. Like I am beyond impressed. Like so impressed. We have this leather strapping that's held in with rivets. I thought we were gonna have another set down here, but it looks like we he just went with the one. Maybe I misunderstood. Um, but as long as this is going to hold on my face, then you know the one is just fine. Um, here's the interior. He did put some foam on the sides and on the top. And then there is the uh, eyes kind of glued in there, held in real nice. Let's go ahead and see if I can see out of this thing or not. And I absolutely can. Holy cow, y'all. This is freaking nuts. Okay, let me strap this down in the back. I gotta find the, uh, find the hole there. Alright. Wow. There it is. Can you hear me? This is the Vessel mask. Now this would be the mask that he would use for all of the photo shoots and for um, music videos and such. Wow. This is wild. Absolutely wild. And it fits my face so well. I was kind of concerned, but no, it fits so good. Um, I really don't even know if you would need, I guess if you were in concert and you were jumping around and doing everything that Vessel does, maybe having the other straps right here that go um, around the back at the bottom would work. But for me, just cosplaying with this or just, you know, setting this up somewhere, this is just fine. So here it is. <laughs> How freaking cool, dude. How freaking cool. That is absolutely insane to me. And I will give like close up shots of this here in just a minute. Um, but yeah, there it is. The vessel mask. This is as close as you're going to get to the real deal right here, y'all. As close as you are going to get. This is absolutely insane. I can't keep saying that enough. Just wow. I don't know if there's a coating or anything on this. Or if it's just straight up painted and that's it. I think it's just straight up painted. I don't know if there's a coating. I don't know if it needs a coating, to be honest with you. But yeah, there it is, y'all. The Vessel Mask. Absolutely incredible. Okay, I'm going to set this to the side for now. Because I have a surprise. That's not the only thing we got. And this was a surprise for me as well. So during the development of this mask, one of the things I had asked was is, can you also make the stage mask? The mask where the mouth is cut, can we also replicate that with the same mold? He told me he didn't think he was gonna be able to do it. He thought that with the mold he created, he was only gonna be able to do the one mask. And so I was a little upset by that, but I was like, okay, it is what it is. At least I'm gonna get a vessel mask. So I was super excited nonetheless. Well, just like a week ago, right before these shipped, he reached out to me and he said, hey, you may want to go ahead and get ready for a second mask. I have a surprise for you. And I was like, no freaking way. He's got to be kidding. But ladies and gentlemen, 
This man was not joking. And we have two masks. This is the second mask. This one I honestly think I may love even more. Holy cow, let me get that out of the back of that. Let me just look at this for a second. This is insane. Holy crap. And we actually do have the two sets of buckles on this one. I'm guessing he did this one because this one would be the one that would be worn on stage. Um, so he went with that two, uh, two buckle clasp. Wow. How freaking cool, dude. How freaking cool. And what was awesome about this one, and I don't know if you can tell, is he actually put some wear and distress on it. So when Vessel wears these live, you know, he's covered in black paint. So of course these are going to get dirty. So he added that black, kind of just dirty, grimy look to it. So there it is. The stage vessel mask with the two buckle straps in the back. This is what the inside looks like. More foam on the sides. That's just for comfort, really. The mesh eyes glued in. And then we have some styrofoam at the top. That's just there. I didn't say that on the other one, but that's just there to kind of help position the mask on top of your head properly so that your eyes are lined up. Um, with the middle holes there So it looks like he did a double mesh On this one. I didn't check to see about the other one, but there is a double mesh on here um, That way it's pretty dark But yet you can still see through it So let's try this one This is the stage mask, the vessel stage mask. How freaking cool is this? Wow. So here it is from the side. I'm just thinking about Vessel wearing this every single time that he is at a show. Like, and I don't know, dude. It would be really hard to, like, sing in and, like, just... <laughs> and, and just, like, jump around and, like, be aware of your surroundings. You know what I mean? So, let's see here. I have a sleep token jacket this is definitely not vessel jacket or cloak this is more along the lines of uh, three two and uh, four but we can at least attempt to throw this hood on and see what we have here I'm looking down because I'm looking at this monitor. Alright. So there we go. How freaking cool is this? Can you imagine rolling up to a sleep token concert? Freaking looking like Vessel himself. I don't know, this is pretty freaking insane to me. So there you have it, everybody. Two vessel mask. The stage used. And of course, the video slash photo shoot mask. Just absolutely insane. I am noticing that the reds look a little different. I think he used a darker red and a lighter red on these. I don't know if there's a difference in the actual uh, mask that um, 
that he uses, and maybe that's why he went that route. I'll have to actually like look and see. But I did notice that these reds are just a little different. Let me take this off now. Absolutely insane. Yeah, so we have a very much brighter red and a very much duller red on this other one. I'll have to reach out to him and ask him about that and why he chose the two different reds. But how freaking cool is this, y'all? We have our two different masks. Absolutely insane. You can definitely tell that the uh, mask over here, eyes are much bigger and everything. Um, so they're not like identical. But this is as close as you're gonna get real vessel mass and I can't be more excited I've been waiting on these like I said for three months I thought I was only getting this one and then this one was like a huge surprise that I was not expecting so super cool and these are like really hard too. like they're not going they're not going anywhere they have some flexibility to them but they're definitely hard um, so they're gonna hold up over time. I had the choice to go with this resin material or go with a um, latex material, but Vessel himself's masks are made of a resin. And because I wanted to be as authentic as possible, we went with the resin. Also the fact that resin's just going to hold up over time. If for some reason the shape was to get a little messed up, you can heat these up, you can bend them back into shape if need be. Um, so they're just, a, they're just a lot better to work with, um, collecting wise. Eventually your latex are gonna, they're gonna dry rot, you're gonna have issues with them. <clears throat> and you know, you can have problems with these over time as well. But these are definitely gonna stand the test of time compared to a latex. And because once again, Vessels is made of this resin, I wanted to go this route just to be as authentic as possible. But, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about these. They pretty much speak for themselves. As you can see, we have two different vessel masks, um, but are both super awesome. And I cannot thank him enough for putting the time into making these. Like, he did such a phenomenal job, and I'm absolutely blown away. So, stay tuned, because I will be going as vessel one day to a Comic-Con next month so i'll be doing a get ready with me type of video where we will get ready we will dress up as vessel we'll put on the paint uh, we'll do all that and then i'll probably film reactions at con let's see how many people we can get there to realize who i am some people may not know but i'm kind of curious to see who all is going to be like hey i know who he is so it'll be really fun but that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, these I don't believe are for sale. If that changes here in the future, I will put links down below. Uh, but as of right now, they are not for sale just due to copyright reasons. Um, this gentleman, me and him became friends um, through the House of Masks. He, um, we, we talked about music, we talked about Sleep Token, and through our friendship, we ended up doing this. So this was kind of like a one of one for me, um, just because he doesn't want to get in trouble for, uh, like I said, copyright infringement or anything of that nature. Um, but if these ever do go up for sale, stay tuned. I will make an update video. I will let you know, and I'll let you know um, who to reach out to to get them. But as of right now, they are not for sale. So, um, thank you so much, as always, for watching. Once again, thank you to him for doing such a killer job on these. I'm just blown away. I do need to reach out to him about the two different color paints. Because um, I am curious now if there is a reason for that. But yeah, that's it. Um, so, stay tuned for another Sleep Talking episode. We just got done filming one uh, here the other day. So, that should be coming out very, very soon. Where we're going to be talking about the new... Uh, North American tour, all the drama around Sleep Token right now. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys again very soon. Peace out.